If you guide rituals, you'll know that much of the process is intuitive. At the same time, if you're designing and facilitating rituals without a really foundational understanding of the core principles of ritual healing, it's likely that your rituals might not be as powerful as they could be. This video is the first in a series about the five different components of a ritual. In this video, we'll talk about preparation. If you're interested, I also have an online course on this topic, so you can learn more there. So preparation. Let's say you're asked to support a family by guiding a ritual to help them adjust as an elderly parent moves out of the family home into long-term care. That's a huge transition, so much adjustment for everybody in the system. A ritual can really help that. Part of the role of a ritual facilitator is to hold the container. So we work with an energetic field. It, it has its own dynamics and agency, but we support it and contain it and relate with it. And it's that container, that energetic field, that determines the strengths of a ritual. That's what we say when we talk about being in sacred space. Then we're in that field where we can really feel that ritual activity happening. And the role of facilitator is to strengthen that. And there are many ways to strengthen that container and some of them happen before the ritual starts. And a really important one of those is the intention. It's really important to get clear on your intention because if you're fuzzy, the field will be fuzzy and the ritual will be fuzzy. So get your intention clear enough that you can articulate it in a sentence or two. For this family, it might be about helping mom say goodbye to life in her house, which is about a relationship with the house itself, with the land, with the wider family. Probably also if dad's in the picture, how is he going to adjust? So it's a reconfiguring of those relationships, a saying goodbye to an old way of being and making way for the new one that's coming. Clarify your intention, and the intention works almost like a golden arrow that we shoot through time from today to the day the ritual will happen. And when we hold that really clearly, when the family's really clear about it, the field starts to feel that and the energy coalesces so that by the time we're gathered, the field itself is prepared. We've palpated it in a way, we've brought it into focus. Because if we don't get clear about the healing we're asking for, it's hard for the field to bring it to us. Intention is one way of working with the field of a healing ritual before it happens. There are lots of others, but really being aware that as soon as you set that moment, things start to happen. The ritual begins and how you're conscious about that activity and the time that leads up to it can have a really powerful effect on the healing value of the ritual. I hope you found this video helpful. If you'd like to learn more about this topic, please visit my website and there you'll find a deeper online lesson about it as part of the Ritual Skills for Living and Dying program.